Well, here we are again, my lovely, lovely children. It's Nana here again, and I'm going to read you a story today, and it's called You're All My Favourites, and it's by Sam McBratney, and it's illustrated by Anita Duran. Now, this is what I said to your daddies. They're both my favourites. One of them is favourite on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, and the other one's my favourite on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. That leaves one day left over. So one of them's my favourite in the morning and one of them's my favourite in the afternoon. But they're both my favourites all the time and you're all my favourites all the time because I love you and I miss you and I just want to give you a big hug. So this is You're All My Favourites. This is another one of Nana's books, so you know this one. Although I don't think I've read this one to you before. So, once upon a time there was a mother bear, a father bear and three baby bears. And there they all are. Look, mummy, daddy and three babies. So, the first baby bear... A second baby bear and a third baby bear. There's the first and the second baby bears. And there's the third baby bear with mummy and daddy. Whoever tucked them in at night always said the same thing to them. You are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world. There, look, they're being tucked into bed by mummy and daddy. Look. Their bed's made of straw and leaves and grass because they live in the woods. One night, after, after their mummy bear had tucked them in, and after she had said, You are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world, the baby bears began to wonder. Look, they're looking quite thoughtful there, and they're thinking, Hmm. And there's mummy and daddy, and they're in their bed. And they don't know that the baby bears are wandering. But how do you know, they asked their mummy bear, how do you know we are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole wide world? There, look, they're chatting to mummy and daddy and it's bedtime. They really should be asleep because look, the moon's out. Because your daddy told me, said their mummy bear, when your daddy saw you on the night you were born, he said, and I remember it well, he said, those are the nicest baby bears I have ever seen. They are the nicest baby bears anyone has ever seen. And there, look, they're having a cuddle with their mummy and daddy. That was a good answer. And the three baby bears snuggled down as content as could be. There, they're all having a little sleep there now, look. But one day... The first baby bear began to think. He wondered if the other two bears were better than he was. They had patches after all, and he did not. Maybe his mummy really liked patches. Oh, look, he's looking a little bit sad and a little bit thoughtful. And there's his two brothers with their patches. And the second baby bear began to wonder... Maybe Daddy loves the other two more than me, she thought. They were boy bears after all, and she was not. So there's the second baby girl bear, look, and there's her two brothers. And the third baby bear began to worry. I'm only the littlest, he thought. Everybody's bigger than me. Oh, look at him with his tree trunk. He's quite strong though, isn't he? And there's the other two, look, they're pulling the leaves off of the tree. So that night, the three baby bears asked their daddy bear, But which one of us do you like the most? Who is your favourite? We can't all be the best. Look, they're climbing on daddy's back. You children climb on your daddy's back, don't you? Not sniffing mummy's nose. Do you sniff your mummy's nose? Yes, you can, said their daddy bear. I know you can, because I heard your mummy say so when she saw you. And Daddy Bear picked up the first baby bear to give him a cuddle. She said, That is the most perfect first little bear that anyone has ever seen. Even with no patches, patches don't matter at all, replied his daddy as he tucked him in. Ah, look. Oh, look, having a lovely cuddle with Mummy. 
And when your mummy saw you, Daddy Bear, picked up the second baby bear, she said, that is the most perfect second little bear that anyone has ever seen. Even if I'm not a boy, girl or boy, it makes no difference, said her daddy. And he hugged her tight. <gasps> Look at her in the lovely huggles with her daddy. And when your mummy saw you, Daddy Bear lifted the last baby bear into his arms, she said, that is the most perfect third little bear that anyone has ever seen. Even if I'm the littlest, Big Lee or Little Lee, we love you just the same. So there, three favourites. You're all my favourites. And there's Mummy with the baby bear, look. The very smallest one. And the best baby bears in the whole wide world went to sleep as happily as could be because that was a good answer too. There, look, they're all snuggled up as a lovely big family. For all my favourites, Robin and Jensen and Izzy and Ethan, Mum, Nana and Papa love you very, very much and we can't wait to give you a big huggles because you're our favourites. And you're the best grandchildren in the whole wide world. And you had the best mummies and daddies in the whole wide world. And we love them very much too. Speak to you again soon. Love you very much.